At about 9 a.m., the Inspector General of Police designated Abbas Kagawa, driving in a private vehicle arrived at Parliament to be vetted. On his arrival here at Parliament, he was straight away taken to the Speaker's boardroom where he interacted with the Appointments Committee, which included the Speaker herself, Anita Monk, her deputy, Thomas Tayewa, as well as members of the committee. During his interaction with the Appointments Committee, Biakagaba was asked how he intends to improve the living standards of the policemen. Okay, they are serving their country. We do have challenges with them, how they operate and so on. But many of the juniors who really are not the ones giving the orders and so on, you see how they live? It's deplorable. Something has got to be done about that. On several occasions, police has been top on the list of human rights violators in the country by different human rights defenders in their reports. Biakagaba was questioned how he intends to address the issue. And so I've been asking them, why is it that when it comes to NUP, they operate differently? Because everybody else is doing the same thing. And for us, we follow the law, we write to you, give you notice, and you behave differently. Why? Of course, because they are seeking for a job and they're seeking for approval. They said, yes, we want to see how we deal with these situations. We shall engage to see that our officers behave better. Me, as me, I refuse to give them my vote in the committee because I don't trust their words. I want to see the action. I want to see if they will actually behave differently. If we shall go out there and hold our activities uninterrupted, then maybe when they come back for renewal or that kind of thing, and I've seen they perform differently, I might say, okay, now I can give you my vote because I've seen the action. The two top policemen were escorted out of the parliament premises by policemen around parliament without allowing journalists to question them. Where are you starting from? We shall talk next time. Um, am I All right, have a good day. Because we don't expect him to do tear gas, to do unnecessary arrests, more especially to the opposition. Is that this, this time round, it is policemen who are trained to be policemen. They are the ones who are going to be guiding the works of the police. So in that guidance, we need you to guide. You go against those uh, era of uh, supporting the violation of human rights. Biakagawa and Ochaya were appointed by the president last week to lead the Uganda police force. This will replace the former IGP Martin Zoko Thochola and his deputy Major General Geoffrey Tumsime Kasigaz. Jumakiria, NTV at Parliament.